Swole Benji here. You've caught me in the middle of soloing an aspect. This one is the old white's aspect, which is an animal you can skin and it can drop baby mammoths. As you can see, I'm using a druidic staff. I've got the torch on and skinning gear. Now, one mistake I did make is I didn't bring any pork pies to skin this with. So if you're in a big guild and they catch you without a pork pie, you're in trouble. I also don't have an Avalonian skinning knife because they weren't available. I guess they're all sold out. Uh, anyway, so I'm just using the druid staff to heal myself. I'm just going to tank that. Oh no, is he going to knock me into the rhino? It's fine, we're fine. We're going to use uh, the animal skinning poison on our armor to deal extra damage. We should finish him here. I'm surprised that uh, rhino didn't aggro. I guess the rhino uh, was upset with the mammoth. Anyway, he's almost dead. We're just going to tank this. It's it's really not any. It's really not, not going to hurt. Got 3,000 health left. Now, this build infinitely sustains against most creatures, and the aspects, all of them in the game, don't have the DPS check to really kill me. I'm going to save my armor for the skinning part, so check this out. We just downed him. Got 500 Robust Hide, and uh, we're going to activate our armor and start skinning. And Robust Hide is a tier 6 hide. Now, this is with premium active. We don't have the Pork Pie active, but we're getting... 5 plus 5 plus 2, so we're getting like 12 each time we skin. So how much is that? How much money is that? That's 12,000. <laughs> 12,000 in every 1.5 seconds? So yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it, guys? Uh, anyway, so to solo the aspect, you know, all, all you need is the Druidic Staff. You just use Thorns, you use Protection in Nature, you use Spiritual Seed. I use uh, the Torch. It doesn't really matter. I also brought a Mercenary Jacket, a Thetford Cape, a Guardian Boots, and Scholar Cowl. That's generally what I use to solo, like, group dungeon bosses. As outlined in my previous videos, I also have uh, Omelette, but this time I brought up Roast Pork for the lifesteal. Honestly, uh, Omelette is better because you get more heals. It's just overall better healing, but yeah, at, this is how fast you can skin <laughs> at maximum spec with a tier 8 knife. And this thing is barely breaking, so let's look at skinning here. Uh, as you can see... Was that tier six? There it is, 100 spec. So this is as fast as it gets, and you know everything else is also maxed. Uh, spoilers: This is the test realm. This isn't actually a realm. If I was trying to solo this out in the black zone, there would be guilds just swarming all over me, just tearing my butt up. Okay, guys. So anyway, I just wanted to show off what it's uh, what it's like to skin at maximum spec with maximum possible gear and. If you were to, like, go out at the dead hours of the night on the server and actually bag one of these bad boys, well, like, uh, right now, this is 700,000 silver that we just made. Of course, we're risking 5 million in gear. So, uh, yeah, we still have... This is, like, about 1.4 million in profit. Which, uh, which is pretty cool, you know? Um... Generally, uh, what you'd want to do to be a dick is not, don't skin the whole animal. Skin it down to its last little pip and then leave it so it doesn't respawn for whichever guild owns this territory, right? Oh, I am way overweight. That's another thing. You should probably uh, have your mount ready. That way you don't get ganked. Uh, just, just to compare, let's, let's kill the rhino and skin it and, uh, see how fast we can skin it. And this hyena down below. Now, rhinos like to charge. But we killed it fast enough. So this is the tier 7 thick hide. That's a little slow. How much is it worth? Just one rhino. Let's check. Just how, how much money did we make skinning the one rhino? We made 15k. That sounds pretty good for a gatherer, but you're risking so much. Now what about the hyena here? This is tier 6. This is the same as the, uh... The whatchamacallit. The, uh... The mammoth we killed. So we're getting like one plus one plus one, two, three, four, and we're getting about four each. Not too much, right? Anyway, that's uh, that's how to solo an aspect. You uh, you can also use a regular axe. You can use anything with sustain. Anything with a mercenary jacket works. Any healing item works. Um, I just like druidic staff because it's the most effective. And like if someone rolls up on me while I'm fighting this, I have a pretty good chance to fight him back and this is the speed that you would uh you would gather at with spec uh 
it's way, way slower if you're not max spec, and it's way slower if you don't have a tier 8 skinny knife, so... Uh, that's pretty much the whole video. Uh, what do you think? Uh, you know, skinning? Skinning is alright, like, uh... Like, these terror birds, these tier 5 terror birds, uh, skinning has a weird meta. Like, they're a waste of time. Like, there is no reason to, to, to attack and skin these animals, right? Because, uh, you should always go for the cougars and the stags. Reason being is that cougars and stags can drop babies, and with this upcoming pet, where am I going? Okay. Yeah, these guys. You wanna, you wanna fight the, the tigers, the cougars? Because they have a chance to drop babies. They have a higher chance to drop babies than before, right? So what you do, and look how fast that is. Oh, that's so good. Mm, feels good, right? You get a baby, and that's an easy 100k. If you just farm stags, it's like the most profitable. That's like 7k right there. And uh, most of the time, you won't find animals with full nodes like that either. Uh, which is the sad part about skinning, but... Oh, we got an uncommon too. I should check that. How much How much was that worth? That was worth 11k. Skinning is not really my favorite uh, profession, honestly. Uh, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> stall out the video for two more minutes, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about professions. What is your favorite profession? What, what do you guys enjoy? I, I started the game as a lumberjack. I didn't start as a dungeon chat. I started this game as a lumberjack. I ha like my actual real live character, not on the test realm, is a maxed out lumberjack. That's all I did for months. Is I just chopped trees all day. And uh, it makes decent money. It makes like one to two million an hour. Well, it used to. Uh, not anymore though. Due to the botting, the rampant, rampant botting that the game has, and the speed hackers that do it, like, oof, it is just no longer worth it. Sadly. And that's what I feel about uh, professions. If you go to the black zone as a solo, like I am, on the live realms, even in the dead of night, there are people that guard these areas. Like, these guilds, uh, they literally have a bot where, like, like say I'm a player and I have an add-on, a third-party illegal add-on, which I don't, but let's say I did. The second someone not in the alliance or in the guild pops up on screen, the ESP hack will then automatically ping Discord and be like, alert, in Far Shore Lagoon at the middle of the map is the player XXX steal your loot XXX. He is wearing tier 7.2, proceed with caution, you know, monitor the situation, send troops to take him out, and then after about 3-4 to four minutes, a ganker group will scramble together and uh, they'll use catch gear and dismount you and kill you and take your loot. And that's just the sad reality of the game. Yeah, these the giant stags, these are the chad animals that you want to skin. If you're a skinner, you need to be killing these guys because... Not only do they skin quickly, they drop babies, and their babies sell good. Like, the stag mounts are some of my favorite in the game. They're just so awesome. Sadly, these didn't drop any babies, but just killing those two was a uh, 4k, so it's like 2k each. And again, this would be more if I ate a pork pie. Anyway, I'm Soul Benji. thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Please let me know what kind of content you'd like to see. I'm running out of ideas. Oh man, I'm so running out of ideas. Uh, there's not a lot I can do, you know, as a solo, so please, uh, please let me know, and, uh, mm, look at that juicy, look at that juicy portal, oh yeah, mm.